The Texas Education Agency is out with new guidelines before the start of another school year. This amid a pandemic. It says students cannot be required to wear masks, though HISD is considering mandating them. Natasha Geigel is live with that update. Hi, Natasha. Well, good morning, and the discussion over mask mandates has become uh, increasingly more stressful for parents and for teachers as the school day, uh, as the school year actually rather approaches. Now, A-Leaf ISD is due to open their doors next week. Their superintendent says that his district will do all that they can to adhere to CDC guidelines, and they want to encourage parents to send their children to school with mask on. Now, some districts are taking matters into their own hands. Houston Independent School District the largest in the state, is considering their own mandate. HISD Superintendent Millard House II released a statement yesterday about a proposal that will affect students, staff, and visitors to their campus, even wearing a mask on school buses. We're told this proposal will be discussed during next week's board meeting and will be voted on. House spoke yesterday during a board meeting about how a mask mandate worked at his previous school district. Uh, it was tough to provide the kind of space needed, but there was a mask mandate in place. So I think that piece is a very important piece and probably the most important piece in terms of safety. There will be some instances where we can't provide six feet. And the only uh, defense mechanism that we have in terms of mitigation in those kind of cases is a mask. And the Texas Education Agency also released their new public health guidance for the school year. So according to this new guidance, there's several things here. The school must notify the local health department if someone tested positive for COVID-19. Once they have that information, the school must then submit the report to the Texas Department of State Health. The report must then be submitted every Monday for the prior seven days. The guidance also added that districts must allow individuals to wear masks if that is their choice. And any student that tests positive for the virus must be excluded from in-person learning until conditions for re-entry have been met. They can still attend school doing so virtually. So if you wish to see the TEA's full report, we've got you covered. Just head on over to our website, fox26houston.com. Natasha Geiger reporting, Fox 26 News.